So now in this video we're going to look at the BPW34. It is a photodiode, a PIN photodiode. And there's a little dot down here and from testing I found out that is the anode and then cathode is up here. Usually you use them reverse bias. They got a couple pins off to each side that fit into the breadboard pretty nicely. So now, being that they're photodiodes, they're diodes, I'll set the meter to, to measure uh, diodes, to test diodes. And right now it's testing continuity. If we make a direct connection, they will beep. And uh, let's see if I can do that. There we go, we got that beep. I'm gonna change it so that it's measuring diodes right there. As I said before, the uh, top up here is the cathode. So we have that jumper going to the positive rail but there's nothing on this side of the component. So it's at a dead end, and so it's not part of any circuit or anything. We can measure it. So there we go. The alligator uh, clips are clipped to the probes, by the way, and then they bring the uh, jumper wires over to measure the component. There you can see we have a diode drop right there, the uh, common silicone diode drop, and the forward voltage, how much it takes to get it to conduct when you put uh, more positive to the anode and more negative to the cathode. So now we're flipping it. Now we have it reverse bias. It blocks a lot more voltage, more than the meter is trying or is applying to it. So there's no current going and so we're not getting anything. It's just like right now, there's no current flowing because there's no connection. So it was an open circuit. Now, the way that this usually is used, from what I've seen, so this is a new component to me, is as a voltage divider. And so I'm gonna take a 10 kilo ohm resistor here, and I'm gonna put that to the negative rail. So now we have a complete circuit right there. And we will look at the voltage. So I'm gonna turn the dial to voltage. For this meter, I can leave the red probe in the same spot, no matter what I'm measuring, unless it's high current. Some meters you may have to move it when you take different uh, measurements. So now, the uh, voltage we're gonna get is in relationship to ground. So I'm gonna take that jumper there, put it to the negative rail, and try not to uh, connect to anything. The red jumper comes where the photodiode and the resistor connect, right there. So you see a little voltage, it went down when I covered this. So now there's more resistance, that's a 10,000 ohm resistor, and uh, now there's more resistance in the photo down, quite, quite a bit. So out of that five volts, it's getting knocked down to practically nothing. And now we have almost two tenths of a volt. Now I'm gonna take my uh, headlamp and I'm going to put the light directly onto it. When I get to the right angle, you're gonna see that uh, we actually have, the power supply is only set to five volts. Looks like a little more, so it might be conducting a little better. Uh, the light might even be pushing some of the conduction. So it might be kind of like a series uh, power supply. There you can see the power supply is only set to five volts right there. So that's typically how it's used. So now we got rid of the resistor and you may be able to tell it kind of looks like a little solar cell. And in fact, it is kind of a little solar cell. I paid about two bucks each though. I bought five of these for $10. I can get a six by four inch uh, solar cell for like a dollar and it produces a whole lot more. But uh, in any case, we're gonna set this to measure voltage. And again, the uh, anode is down below. So I'll take the uh, blue jumper, put it up to the uh, cathode right there. And try not to block the view and then the red one we're going to put to the anode and there you can see that we have a voltage there it's about that voltage that was above the 5 volts when uh, we had it in series with a uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor so if I get really bright light on there still it's only about point like six and so it's really not going to push any current and so we had a lower value resistor it probably would not have gotten uh, that high so I don't know how much current should go through these though before they get damaged so usually you see them as voltage dividers with a high value resistor 
and it's just sending a signal to an amplifier but it can be used kind of like a mini solar cell maybe you want to look at uh, this voltage for determining how bright it is or something but it doesn't look near as effective as the voltage divider so uh, that's really about it all that I got for this component always make sure you turn off your multimeter and uh, definitely don't leave it where it's measuring current if it has a power button so I always turn it off and get it off of current if it has a power button this one you turn the dial to off check out one of these other videos uh, click like subscribe the bell I will see you in the next video